Hello, I'm Tom Anthony, Vice President of Procurement Cloud Strategy, and over the next few minutes, I'll share with you some of the new Release 11 capabilities of Oracle Procurement Cloud. For a complete review of what's new in Release 11, there are links to additional resources provided at the end of this video. Release 11 of Oracle Procurement Cloud includes enhancements in five key areas. Enhanced usability, support for manufacturing, supplier qualification management, sourcing and projects integration, and purchasing. Let's start by taking a look at some of the usability enhancements we've made in Release 11. Release 11 delivers a new simplified look and feel across the solutions leveraging the latest Alta UI page designs. The Alta UI is designed to give users easy access to tasks, key information, and it looks great on traditional browsers as well as tablets. We also took a fresh look at our email approval notifications and redesigned them to make it easier to review the details of who created the request, what it's for, and how much it is all directly from the inbox. The body of the email notifications were also redesigned to make it easier to read with the most important information at the top, new highly visible action icons, and additional details available at the bottom. These usability improvements are very exciting and should have something to offer for both everyday and casual users. The next enhancement area is the new direct material capabilities for manufacturing. Prior to release 11, Oracle Procurement Cloud offered a complete source to settle solution for indirect materials management and services across supplier management, sourcing, contracting, and procure to pay. In release 11, we plan to expand upon our existing support of indirect materials to include direct material support for manufacturers. This includes configure to order, back to back, drop shipments, and contract manufacturing process flows to allow manufacturing organizations to achieve the benefits of a modern cloud solution for their source to settle business needs. In Release 9, we introduced a new solution for managing suppliers and their qualifications. With Release 11, we're expanding the capabilities and bringing tighter integration with other source to settle business processes. The first enhancement is the ability to leverage the question library and previous responses during sourcing activities. This allows you to reuse questions, pre-populate responses for suppliers, and compare and highlight when a response has changed. We also provide a new Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence subject area for creating custom reports of supplier qualification information. And lastly, we added the ability to capture additional qualification information during the supplier registration process. You can quickly configure which questionnaires should be conditionally displayed to suppliers during registration based on rules tied to specific goods and service categories or country-specific questions you may have. And based on those rules, the questions are asked of suppliers so that their responses and key documents like certifications can be captured. The fourth key enhancement area is the integration between sourcing and project management. Managing sourcing initiatives can be complex with many tasks involving many stakeholders. With seamless integration between sourcing and project management, your sourcing initiatives can be managed with a project plan where sourcing tasks can be scheduled and associated to the plan, specific project tasks can be automatically updated based upon the negotiation events, and project resources can be assigned to the negotiation collaboration team. When you define your project task, you can associate your negotiation and select a task from a set of tasks that can be manually or automatically updated. From the project plan, you can easily navigate to the sourcing negotiation. The negotiation will display all of the project tasks defined on your plan and show you the percent complete so that you can track project plan activities from a negotiation and associate the project tasks to the plan. Oracle Social Network further allows you to collaborate with key stakeholders on a sourcing project. You can discuss requirements, share and annotate documents, and capture key conversations that can be retained with the project for future reference. You can also gain visibility to your project tasks, milestones, and other events using the project calendar. These improvements should help you simplify the management of complex negotiations and help you improve the collaboration you have with your key business stakeholders. Last but not least, we also made a number of enhancements to purchasing, and I wanted to mention two of the most requested enhancements we made in Release 11. The first is the ability to expand what fields you can print on a purchase order. We've changed the purchase order print function to use a data model that you can expand versus the fixed set of fields that were available to you in prior releases. This gives you more flexibility to tailor the purchase order to your unique business needs. We've also changed both Transaction Account Builder and our document approval rules to allow configuration based on any level of the category hierarchy. This allows you to set up rules based on top level categories like information technology instead of needing discrete rules for each subcategory. 
This should help reduce and streamline the maintenance of those rules. There's a lot more available in Release 11 than what I have just highlighted. For more information, visit cloud.oracle.com and review the Release 11 readiness content, documentation, and our Oracle Application Customer Connect community, all available to help get your questions answered and prepare you to update to Release 11. Thank you for your time today. Yeah.